uh, listen, I think any team can be a winning team as long as as long as they understand and they identify their identity, they embrace it, and they run with it. You know, I, I, I think anybody can be good as long as they believe in it. You know, they believe in, in the process of what they're trying to do and why they're trying to do it. Um, and, at the mo and, and the biggest part of that, too, is they have to genuinely care about one another up in that locker room. You know, it, it's one thing to come out here, but when, when you get up there, you got to genuinely care about the guy on your left and your right. You got to make sure nobody's, you know, everybody's on the same page. Everybody's working together because, especially in this conference, in this league, it takes all 70. You know, we got 70 guys on the roster. It takes all 70. You got to be successful. It takes from the guy giving a pass ball call on the sideline in the fourth quarter of a game that might hit, help a corner to, you know, it, it's just every aspect. You need every guy. The most important thing for me is that that locker room is right and that locker room is the way it's supposed to be and that they genuinely care about each other and they're willing to bend over and, and bend over backwards for each other and really help each other be successful. We're still trying to work through some stuff and, and trying to find, you know, where does this guy fit and where does this guy fit, but I think we're, we're mature. We are, we are a very mature group and I say that not just from a football standpoint, but from a person standpoint. You know, this is a group that now has been with me all the way through. They know what my expectations are, how I, how I handle what I do, um, how I expect them to handle what they do. Um, and the biggest thing, you know, we, we, we constantly talk about is you represent your team, you represent your family, you represent your town the way that you should at all times. Whether somebody's watching you or not, you're representing those three things appropriately and doing it the right way. Um, so I'm really proud with the maturity end of it. They know when we step into a meeting or into an install, we're in a meeting, we're in an install, we're sitting in there as if we're in school taking a test. Um, we step out on a practice field, they understand when that whistle blows, we gotta go. Um, we gotta get work done. They understand we're, we're limited. You know, you figure you get a two hour practice, how many practices do you get in the preseason? You know, at the end of the day, you're probably 40 total hours of work. You know what I mean? That's two less than two days worth of, of being out here. You get a lot to do in that amount of time. You know, they under it's a very mature group that truly understands, okay, we have to get to work. We really have to get some stuff done and they know when to turn it on and they know when they can relax and be kids and have some fun. I think right now, just taking it one day at a time, not looking too far ahead. Right now we're just working hard to be the best uh, possible team we could be and uh, just getting ready kind of for Shelton. And uh, I mean, our goal is to go 1-0 one, one every week. So we're not really looking ahead so far. Yeah. Look, especially in this conference too. If you look ahead, you're going to get beat. Yeah, the SEC is a tough conference, but we're a tough team. And I really feel like if we work hard and we build chemistry and put two and two together, we could beat anyone. You're trying to go every day, um, and we still have room to grow uh, at every position. Every Everyone's just trying to grow right now to become as best they can be. But we got a lot of talent. Um, we just need to build chemistry, know what we're doing, and know that we can do it to the best of our abilities. The more you can focus on what you're doing right now, and then take the next step, the better you'll be as a team. I'm a firm believer in that. So, you know, there might be some adversity right now, but that next step is you have to learn from that adversity and step forwards and, and learn from it and, and be better on the next play, the next game, the next practice, all those types of things. We have a very mature group, again, that understands that. They understand that we have to prepare right now for, for, for tomorrow. You know, that, that's what we have to prepare for. Now we're done with practice. We gotta go take care of our bodies. We gotta hydrate. We gotta be prepared for practice. You know, that's the next step. And as we continue to move forward, we hope that that translates, and I'm pretty, I, I'm confident that it will, because these guys are mature. That it'll translate into, okay, we prepare for Shelton, we 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 focus on Shelton, we worry about Shelton, and then after that, we worry about week two, you know, and then and then we and we continue to move that way because, again, you said it in the SEC, there's no downtime, you know, and then our, you know, we have some out of league games, you know, we go we go Shelton, and then we go up to NFA week two. There's no downtime, you know. You, you you don't get a you don't get a bye week. You don't you don't get a week off when you're in in game week. So, um, you know, we love it though. You you're excited for these kids. There's opportunities out there for these guys that work extremely hard, put an extreme amount of time and a lot of effort into this. They have some pretty good opportunities because I you know I, I'd be I, I'm pretty sure that when we when Shelton comes that first week, this place is going to be pretty busy. There's going to be a lot of people here. There's going to be a pretty good atmosphere and. You know, that, that's a pretty good opportunity for, for these young men to get involved in. Something that, you know, a lot of places don't have the opportunity to have. Yeah. You know, trying to get the winning culture back that our school has had. And I think we definitely have the skill to do it. And uh, we just have the athletes. You know, all, most of our seniors, most of our juniors, most of the people who play, like uh, our starters just play all their sports and they're really good athletes and that really translates into winning teams. If you're not here Friday night, you're wrong. And, uh, <laughs> I like that.